What's up guys, welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Today's gonna be a quick video about volume automations. And I really wanna hit this one because um, a lot of times people might not realize they might make a mistake unknowingly. And what I'm talking about is with samples in the playlist or anything, when you open that sample, um, you can see here in this settings here, the levels adjustment and you can go down to zero or you can leave it here, zero dB at 100%, or you can go all the way up, right? Now keep in mind, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you there's two methods you need to be cognitive of so that you don't make a mistake and that you can use what you want to better suit the application. So let me demonstrate just to give you uh, the idea. So one way of automating this volume is by clicking on the top left and you go to automate and you click volume. Now this is different from this. And I'll show you why in a second. Let's go ahead and make a second one. Um, let's just bring in another sample. Let's just mute that. And we'll just bring in like, we'll bring in this sample, okay? For the purpose of this tutorial, it doesn't need to have audio. That's not the, the important thing. Um, when you are automating it this way, using the top left automate volume, you can go from zero, so minus like infinity, to zero dB coming here. And we can see this. So let's ignore this. Let's open this guy. And we can see that as it goes from 0% on the automation clip to 100%, it goes through a full spectrum, but it's only going all the way up. So 100% in the automation clip is zero dB, it doesn't go further up. Now, don't mistake that, and the purpose of this video is don't mistake that for this. So let me show you here. Let's turn this one on, and let's automate it differently. Let's just right click on this and create automation clip, okay? And notice the default value is 50%. So in order to go from dead silent to zero dB, you're gonna have to go from 0% to 50% or 0.5. Now they're both arriving to the same destination, but notice that nuance there, if you create the automation clip the other way, it goes to 100%. Here, it's going slowly, slowly to zero dB now. So keep that in mind, because if you wanna add more volume, then you might wanna use this. Technically speaking, I don't know if it would acoustically make a difference of having a shorter, like technically you're going from 0% to 100% in the above one, but one could make an argument that maybe the fade is, is slower and it could be maybe progress slower. Like it's hard to explain, but it, it could progress slower. Like it's using more numeric values to progress to that baseline stage. So be cognitive of that. Just be aware of that so that you guys don't make a mistake is that if you automate this this way, the automate volume, you'll go from 0% to 100%. If you do it with the knob, then you're gonna have zero to 50%. And if you go above 50%, then you're gonna be going in excess of zero dB in the positive, like plus five or all the way plus 21.6. So just a quick tip there about automation clips. Hope you guys enjoyed this tip and uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you're alerted of new uploads when they arrive. See you guys soon. Take care.